I was recently at a conference and I was having a chat to a wonderful lady who um, runs a, quite a quite a successful family business and I uh, asked her how they currently operate their business and basically she said that it's all paper. So they basically store everything on paper, they write it all down, they hand it over to their drivers, they come and pick up the paperwork, they go on their routes, they fill in their paperwork, they bring it back to an office. It takes an office worker about 20 hours of time to go through three people that are on the road. Um, their paperwork a week, so they're spending half their week in admin work just supporting three people on the road. Um, they find it challenging to find paperwork and it gets a little bit lost. And they ask the question, why haven't you moved to technology? What haven't, have you looked into any SaaS, SaaS products that are out there? Have you looked at maybe developing something that can make life a bit more streamlined for you? And the, the fear that came out was, Oh, we're scared we want to lose our data. We don't want to hand over our data to, um, a, to one of these tech providers or we don't want to hand over our data to um, the Googles of the world. And I thought, yeah, that's all well and good, but your data's actually sitting um, on paper uh, in an office. Um, if there's a fire or a flood, that's basically gone um, and there's no way of getting that back. Um, so I gave us some awareness of redundancy and what that means with technology. So. Um, for example, if you're running on a Google or an AWS and you've got your data stored there, you've generally got two or three time redundancy. So you got you can have servers in you know, servers overseas that are backing up your data. Um, and there's little to no, you should never really lose data given the way these, these platforms and infrastructures are structured these days. So um, there's a really good insight just to get into the fear and the mindset of why someone hasn't changed technology. Um, and it's probably just a little bit overwhelming, especially when you've done something for a long, long time and it's a change. So I suggest if you're, you're a little bit overwhelmed and you're looking for a better way of doing things, um, probably look at the numbers. What is it costing me to actually operate this way? Um, in a instance, 20 hours a week uh, of a person paid uh, $30 an hour, that's $600 a week, that's 25, 30 grand a year just spent in maintaining the paperwork. So that can quite easily be invested in a technology solution or something off the shelf or whatever it may be. So just look at your numbers. What's it costing you in that little efficiency? Is that costing you um, $20,000, $30,000, $50,000, $100,000? Um, it quite easily, can quite easily add up. And we can do things a lot better these days. So. Just look at your numbers and see what that operation or not changing that operation is actually costing you. Thanks guys.